start recording now. Okay. Are you taking a video? Yeah. And I post it online so that you guys have an audience. I think that's very powerful, you know? Uh, because uh, believe me, whenever you listen in class, two days later everything's gone. Mm -hmm. So it's good that you guys can watch the video. And I have to ask for permission from the man. Uh, that's why I have some people. And you guys have this uh, side. Any good enrollment from high school here? Oh, it's you. Uh, I'm gonna give you the paper and you have to bring it back to your parents and then get them signed and bring it back to me. Okay, any question, any concern? Good. Okay. I know it's kind of freezing today and you know, my mom's really taking care of me. She gives me this. This is kind of blank, you know? She won't be. But that's good though. I mean, um, I know, I mean, go to school, man. Uh, I have to admit it, it's kind of suffering sometimes, mm -hmm. especially when you learn mathematics. Uh, when I was young, my parents always said, oh, come on, you just eat and go to school, you don't have to do anything. Well, actually, I didn't have to do anything, but they didn't know to go to school is really suffering. But that's the part of life. You know, you got to wake up in the morning, you know, even when you're a high school student, right? You got to wake up early and go to school, it's freezing condition. So you have to deal with it. Alright, no concern. All right, let's get started. Before I jump into the new topic today, uh, I just want to summarize of whatever we already learned about re re involving reference angle. And I remember I said that uh, um, the reference angle will different depends on the terminal side, where what quadrant the terminal side located. If in the first quadrant, the the angle you're looking for and the reference angle are kind of the same, but even in the second quadrant, third and fourth quadrant will be different. So I want to do a quick summarize, summary uh, about uh, the reference, reference angle. Okay. So let's talk about the first case where in the reference angle, the angle you're looking for are kind of the same. So I'm going to call uh, theta, I'm going to call theta is the angle you're looking for, or the angle you have to find, you have to go ahead and side of tennis shift, okay, and I call theta prime is the reference angle. Everybody can see that? More likely, and I'll report it to the math department. Um, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about the first case, case one, when we have uh, it in on the, the first quadrant. Okay, let's draw the picture. Okay. So on the first case, uh, the reference angle and the angle uh, you're looking for. It's the set. So I have terminals, I have initial side. Uh, it's like this. Okay. And I have a terminal side on the first quadrant. Okay. And the angle we're looking for, and the angle and the reference angle are the same in the first quadrant. So I put theta equal to theta prime. And of course, it's, it's totally insane, right? Because we don't need to add or subtract by pi or uh, subtract by, from 3 to 360 degrees. We don't have to do that, okay? On case number two, the angle you're looking for is not acute angle anymore. The angle you're looking for is obtuse angle, which is greater than 90 degrees, and when it's greater than 90 degrees, it could be in second quadrant, okay? So let's draw a picture for that case. Okay, let me use, oh, here you go. It's still better than my black Here you go. So the initial side is still over here, okay. But my terminal side is in the second quadrant. So. 
And the angle you're looking for is the angle of theta from here to here. Then of course you have to find the reference angle, which is the little acute angle right here, which is this is theta prime. And in order to find theta prime, you take uh, 180. So theta prime, oh theta will be uh, 180. I'm sorry, theta will be 180 minus theta prime because from zero to uh, uh, the side of the negative x will be 180 degrees. This is flat. Okay. So in order to find theta, you take 180 minus theta prime. Okay. Case number three. In this case, the terminal sign is in the third quadrant. Initial sign is still over here. Now terminal sign this in this quadrant, so right. And the angle you're looking for is bigger than 180 degree. So this is the angle you're looking for. So this is theta. Then this one, the little small one right here, the acute angle right here must be the reference angle, right? We learned that, so this is the reference angle, so this is theta prime. And the relation between theta and theta prime will be theta equal to uh, 180 plus theta prime. And it makes sense because theta is the whole thing, and we just, from here to here is 180 degree, then we add theta prime, then it give you the whole theta angle. Okay. On case number four, I don't, I don't have to go through the example related to uh, one of these four cases anymore because last time we were in the class. Okay. On case number four, the terminal side is in the fourth quadrant. Here. So this terminal size, uh, oh, the initial size is still there, but the terminal size. And the angle we're looking for is the big one from here to here. So this is the theta. No? Okay, that's the theta. So where will be the reference angle? Right over here, here, right? The little one right here. So this is theta prime. And the relation between theta and theta prime will be theta. Uh, theta will be 360 degree minus theta prime. Right? It will be the whole revolution minus subtracted by the little one that they give you theta. I really want you guys to memorize all these four cases, okay? or at least really understand because you will use this to solve trigonometry equation later. <laughs> it's very important, guys. Very. Okay? So remember, it's important because you use this to solve trig equation. Okay. Another thing that we uh, use this to uh, calculate angle in reading. I'm going to introduce the reading unit later. So uh, for the reading unit, instead of using uh, 360 degree, instead of using 180 degree, we use pi and we use 2 pi, which is the same meaning. But I'm going to introduce that. Any question on one of these four cases before we jump to the new lecture? Very good, guys. Good. So, on the next 
lecture, on the lecture we're doing today, which is uh, section uh, 2.4, 2.5. We're talking about an application of whatever we learned so far. So, so far we learned a bunch of uh, trigonometric identity, we learned trigonometric ratio, and we, let's go back to the original objective of trigonometry and geometry. This is used to solve triangle. It's used to solve the angle in the triangle and the length of the side of the triangle. So, today we're going to just talk about the application of trigonometry. Trigonometry ratio. The first application is we use to solve triangle. <laughs> and in our case, in today we talk about uh, a right triangle. Okay. Uh, let's come to a quick example. Should be very easy. Uh, I want to solve right triangle. Uh, a B C with um, so I put a triangle A B C with Side A equal um, 29.43 centimeter. Okay. And we know C, which is the hypotenuse, okay, 53. Point uh, fifty-eight centimeter. So, application of a trigonometry ratio is kind of semi any kind of application <coughs> in mathematics. It's a word problem, and when you read a word problem, of course, you have to draw a picture, you have to visualize. Okay, so let's draw a quick picture here. Uh, we have uh, a right triangle, right? So I'm going to draw a right triangle. Look like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, but that's okay. I put over there uh, 90 degree. And C is the hypotenuse, so C is 53.58 centimeter here. Uh, I say A is 29, so I'm going to put A is the sorted leg, so 29.43 centimeter here. Okay. And the question is, they want you to solve the triangle. It means that they want you to find the rest of the side. They want you to find the degree of all the angle in the triangle. Wow. I know the angle A is, 100, uh, is 90 degrees already. So this is A, B, C. So angle A is, is 90 degrees. Right. It's given. Okay. So our job is to find angle C, okay. find angle B, and of course A, C. So we're going to use the trigonometry ratio we already learned. It's on the, uh, on the ratio uh, that relates between uh, the angle and the side. Okay. And of course it must be related to uh, the, 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 uh, the side we already know. Okay. Okay. So let's see we, what trigonometry ratio we, uh, can we use over here. What if I want to find uh, angle C? Okay. I want to find angle C. Mm -hmm. 
sine. You use sine because sine equal to what? Sine of C equal to opposite. So C over here, the opposite of C will be AB, right? So it will be sine, so it will be AB over the hypotenuse would be BC. And AB will be uh, uh, 29.43 over uh, 53.58. Then it give you what? Uh, <coughs> it give you uh, around um, 0.54. Uh, right here. Uh, 927. Okay, so far so good, huh? But it's the sign of C. It's not C yet. <laughs> this is what I don't like about a textbook. Because you guys have not learned the inverse function, but they put this kind of application right in the first two chapters. <clears throat> so the order, in my opinion, it was it's not good. It's not really perfect. So in order to get C, you need to find an inverse. And the inverse is like an inverse function of sine function. And all you can do right now is you put into calculator. So C will be inverse. This is the inverse. See? We never been introduced to that, but they have to, we have to use it. Of 0.54927. And the only way to find the inverse of a value to get a degree <coughs> is use calculator. So you have to use calculator. I know, I know, I know the order is not good, but I mean, just, just bear with me. So this is what you have to do. So you put the second. You hit second side, you see that second side, second inverse side right there, and you do that. And you put uh, 1, 5, uh, 4, 9, 2, 7. And you close the parenthesis, and you hit enter, it gives you, uh, I don't know what you get. 0 0.5814. 0 0.5814. But that should be in radian. So you have to change it into degree. Let me see. You got 33. 33.32. Yes, you have to change it to degree. Do you know how to change it? I haven't used the calculator either. I'm a theoretical math guy, so. How do you change you press, it into. You press mode, it's right next to the. Oh, yes, you hit mode. And you see that uh, you hit mode on the second uh, line radian. here, and you change it to degree. Yeah, it from radian to degree, and you hit enter. Okay, then you go back, and you hit side again, 1, 5, 4, 9, 2, 7. It gives you 33, point, uh, 32. C and for angle B, well, actually, you can use the trigonometry ratio. But one of the very prop important property of triangle is the sum is always 180. Mm -hmm. So in order to get B, you take 180 minus uh, A plus C. Okay, so we have 180 minus 90. Plus C is 33.32, which is give you, please give me a quick answer there. Fifty-six. 56.6? 0.68. 0.68. And the unit will be centimeter. Don't forget the unit there. So we got B, we got C. Now all we have to do is we find AC. Wait, why is it 56 point centimeters? What's going to be degree? degree. Oh, degree, I'm sorry. Good. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah, probably because uh, the, the fact 
catch up the weather. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so it's 56.68 degrees. So all we have to do now is we need to find AC. Any idea how to find AC? We can use Pythagorean theorem. We can use Pythagorean theorem, yes, of course. And that's much easier, right? So AC will be square root of hypotenuse squares will be 53.58 square minus 29.43 uh, square and you take square root and your answer will be whatever it is there. You can also use trigonometry ratio also. You can use uh, cosine or you can use tangent. Okay. So for example, uh, tangent of C Tangent of C will be opposite will be 29.43 over AC. Then AC will be 29.43 over tangent of C, which is tangent of 33.32 uh, degree. And it should give you the same answer. Okay. So it's up to you. I mean, you love Pythagorean. Theorem, or you just use uh, trigonometry ratio. We know it should give you the same answer. Okay. Cool. It's not really that bad, right? Okay. Any questions? Another application of trigonometry ratio is about uh, direction and about two other different angle we call that um, depression angle and elevation angle so application on uh, involving elevation and depression. And first of all, we need to know what it means by elevation angle. What it means by uh, uh, depression angle. Let's talk about um, elevation angle first. The elevation angle is not much different from acute angle and it's not much different from reference angle. Elevation angle is the angle created by the positive or the negative x-axis and the terminal side. And it's different from reference angle because for um, Elevation angle, we can go um, clockwise. Oh, we can go clockwise, which is we, we can have negative one. When you draw the left elevation angle, we can go clockwise. So I can say that the elevation angle that looks like this. Uh, so this is, again, this is initial sign. So the elevation angle could be like this. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. We cannot go. Uh, we cannot go uh, uh, clockwise. We always go um, um, kind of clockwise for, for the first one, for the first quarter. Okay. Or we can have something like this. And we start from negative axis and we raise up like So there are only two cases. Okay. It's the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So this one, you see that we go uh, kind of uh, clockwise, 
And this one will go clockwise. That's a reference angle. Let's take a look at the example. I mean, as long as you do the example, I believe that you guys can really understand better. of the flat cone um, the angle of elevation okay, to the top of the flat cone is 26 degree and 40 minute question is find the height So in order to do this problem, we have to visualize it. So in order to visualize, we have to draw the picture. So let's draw the picture. So let's say we start with the point A. So point A that's over here. Okay. And let's say 123 feet from the base of the flagpole. So you can put the flagpole on the right hand side of A or the left hand side of A. Okay, so I have space over here, so I'm going to set a file so that look like this. Okay. That's my platform, and this is the flap at the right. There you go. And it's a 123 feet away from the base, so this is 123. 